A change up in leadership in the Catholic Church, how things may be different for one of the largest dioceses in Florida. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. After serving the Pensacola, Tallahassee area for a little more than four years, Pope Francis called on Bishop Gregory Parks to come to the Bay Area and serve as the new bishop of the second largest diocese in the state. News Channel 8's Anthony Allred joins us now live from the Diocese of St. Petersburg. And Anthony, I understand Bishop Parks is no stranger to the state or to the Tampa Bay area. That's right, Jan, and you may need a road map of Florida for this one. From uh, up in Tallahassee, where he's recently served as bishop, to Daytona Beach, where he was in community college, and all the way to Tampa, South Tampa, where he uh, served in a church. You know, he has put down roots all over the state of Florida, and now he says that uh, he got his calling from right here in Tampa Bay. May your yes bring you as much joy and happiness this great diocese has brought to me. With a heavy heart, retiring Bishop Robert Lynch introduced his successor to a small group of loyal parishioners. Welcome. And with that, Bishop Gregory Parks will soon become the new leader of the second largest diocese in the state. I know that I am very grateful to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for this appointment. Bishop Parks is no stranger to the Bay Area. He worked in the banking industry in Tampa and attended Christ the King in South Tampa. So really, in a, in a certain sense, the, the, the origin, the foundation of my vocation uh, was discerned here in, in our diocese. As for parishioners, after 20 years, they hate to see Bishop Lynch go. He's been very special, very committed in our diocese. We're going to miss him, to say the least. But they are happy to welcome back one of their own. He talked about collaboration, that before he makes any decisions, he really wants to get to know the diocese and the people in the diocese. And if that's truly the way he operates, then that is truly a continuation of the gift that we've been given. I have never had the opportunity to work with Bishop, but uh, I can tell by his presence and how he has brought us all together this morning that he's going to be a great addition to the Diocese of St. Petersburg. Yes, and they can't wait to have him serve. And uh, one more little footnote about Bishop Parks. He also got a finance degree at Florida State. So, uh, you know, he knows all about the state of Florida and says he can't wait to hit the ground running. And his, his uh, ceremony uh, where, well, uh, his ceremony is uh, the first week in uh, January. And that's when he'll start. That's when he'll take over from there. Jen. All right. Anthony Allred live for us in St. Petersburg. Thank you.